Hello Algebra 2 folks and welcome to adding and subtracting rational expressions. This is the first part of adding and subtracting and probably the easier of the two parts. Today you're going to need your notes and um, a pencil and we will get started adding and subtracting with like denominators. So first we want to talk about the objective. We're going to learn how to simplify rational expressions accurately. We want to be able to add and subtract them and then be able to simplify them correctly. So let's review adding and subtracting regular fractions with common denominators. If the denominator is the same, we can go ahead and add the numerators. 9 plus 5 is 14 over 6. And then we know that 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 3 is 6, the 2's cancel, and we have 7 over 3. All right, so let's think about this. What's three cows plus four cows? Yeah, that'd be seven cows. And two cows and three ducks is two cows and three ducks. So in order to add or subtract rational expressions with like denominators, we're simply going to add or subtract their numerators. Make sure your final answer is simplified, so you may need to do some factoring. Okay, so make sure you know all the different types of factoring. All right, example number one. The de denominators are the same, so I can add the numerators. 10 plus 7 is 17 over 4x. 17 is not factorable, so this would be my final answer. Let's simplify number two. Uh, the like denominators, x minus 5 and x minus 5 are the same. So what I can do is I can subtract the numerators. So this would say 10x minus 15 over x minus 5. Now this looks like I might be able to reduce the top. Um, they both have a 5 in common. So I'm going to take out the 5. And I would get 2x minus 3 over x minus 5. Nothing seems to cancel, so that would be my final answer. Okay, let's simplify number 3. I have two uh, fractions here. They both have the same denominator, so what I can do is I can go ahead and subtract the numerators. So this would say x squared. Oh, and it says subtract. And when I want to subtract, I need to make sure that I subtract the whole fraction. So I need to say x squared minus 12 plus x. I really like that to be in standard form. x squared plus x minus 12 all over x squared minus 3x minus 28. And now I can simplify both the top and the bottom by factoring the top and factoring the bottom like we have in the past. Two factors of negative 12 that make 1 would be 4 and negative 3. Put those in your squares. x squared, 4x, negative 3x, negative 12. There's 4x, x and negative 3. So the top would, be, would become x plus 4 and x minus 3. And the bottom would become two factors of 28 that make 3. Mm, that would be negative 7 and positive 4. And then if I put those in my squares, I would have x squared minus 7x plus 4x minus 28. x in common, 4 in common, x in common, negative 7 in common. I would get x plus 4 x minus 7. My x plus 4's would cancel and I would be left with x minus 3 all over x minus 7. Okay, let's do example number 4 here. Again, I have the same denominator, so what I can do is go ahead and add the top. This would be x squared plus x over 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. I always want to make sure that I can simplify it in the end. So I want to make sure that I know how to factor. What they have in common on top is an x, so I would get 
x times x plus 1. Um, I would use the AC method here. 2 times 1 is 2. Two factors of 2 that make 3 would be 2 and 1. I would go ahead and put those in my four squares. 2x squared, 2x, 1x, 1. I have a 2x in common. I have a 1 in common. I have an x in common and a 1 in common. So this would turn into 2x plus 1 and x plus 1. x plus 1s would cancel, and I would be left with x over 2x plus 1. And that would be my final answer. And that is um, my last slide for today. Thank you for taking good notes. Um, begin your worksheet and work through the worksheet until the end. You do have another video that you need to watch for tonight. Thank you and have a good day.